Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our workout for today. And this whole week, as a matter of fact. So equipment-wise today, you are going to need your stability ball. Um, with our stability ball, we're not adding any extra resistance. So just the first block is all stability ball by itself. Second block, we're going to be utilizing one, if not two pairs of dumbbells, depending on how strong you are feeling today. Block three is going to be all handle band. So not our orange band, but handle band. And for the most part, we're going to stay on the light side of the band. You may want a heavier option when we turn around for chest press. So if you have more than one band, keep them both close by. But otherwise, a lighter option for our band tee, wood chop, and our lateral press forward. All right, we're ready to go. So our first block, and actually all three blocks today, are gonna to be 30 seconds through each exercise three times. Well, we'll take a quick break, as in 30 seconds or less between rounds, and we're gonna to try to keep ourselves moving pretty good within each block. Block number one, we are starting with our stability ball. We're gonna be in a plank position. So before I start that time, quick reminder on our stability ball planks. Forearms are on the ball, feet are on the ground behind us. Remember, the wider you take your feet, the more stable your position is going to be. When you have those arms up on top, obviously you're going to be more comfortable the farther forward you lean over the ball. But the farther forward you lean over the ball, the less your body is actually working. So our ultimate goal is to get shoulders over elbows and hands away from the face. That one is really hard to do. So wherever you find yourself in a comfortable position, think about pressing the hands down away. Immediately the, uh, the abdominals are gonna have to work harder. All right guys, ready, set. Those feet behind, one foot at a time. Press down, here we go. We're gonna take a full 30 seconds right here. Remember our cues, the elbows are underneath the shoulders. The abdominals are pulled in tight. Pelvis is tucked under. We wanna try really hard to get the bottom out of the air. Glutes are squeezed. Hands are pressing away from the face as much as possible. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Very nice, come down. We're gonna stand all the way up with our ball and take it into a reverse lunge with rotation. So I'm gonna step back with my left leg into my lunge and I'm gonna rotate to the opposite direction. Back to center and switch. Lunge, rotate, center, switch. You are welcome to keep your eyes straight ahead. As long as your hands and your shoulders rotate, the eyes do not have to go if that's throwing your balance off a lot. No problem. Strong and steady. Sit it nice and low. We got time for one more. Excellent, all the way to the ground, on your back. We are gonna take the bottom of your feet on the ball. Make sure it's not the back of your legs. We want the bottom of your feet, bottom of your shoes. We're gonna tuck the pelvis under, squeeze the glutes like you're pinching a penny, and press down. When you get to the top, squeeze and pause, tap the ground. Squeeze and pause, tap the ground. The whole time we are keeping the glutes engaged. So when you hit the ground, try not to relax that penny squeeze. Keep that squeeze happening the whole time. And the pelvis tucked under. Almost there, guys. Squeeze, time for one more. Squeeze. All right, grab that ball between your calves, ankles, or knees, anywhere in that position, partly dependent upon how inflated your ball is, also dependent upon how flexible and how strong you are. So, abs are nice and tight, arms can go down by your side, hands can go under your hips if you need to. If you're feeling really strong today, you can take those arms out to the side. We're gonna take a leg lift from here. So again, tuck that pelvis, abs are pulled down into the spine, Reach away and back to the top. Reach away, back to the top. The straighter you keep your legs, keep going, the straighter you keep your legs on this one, 
the, the uh, more range you have, the farther away the ball is, the more challenging. So if you need to back off a little bit, you can bring the ball in closer to your body. You can bend the knees and keep it as more of a bent knee position. We got 10 seconds. Keep it going. Press that low back down. And time. All right. We are back to the top, which for us means we're just gonna flip over. This is gonna be the challenge for us. We are going from a abdominal exercise on the back to a plank, also abdominal exercise. So best you can, round two here. Three, two, one, here we go. Press that ball away. One of the most important things on a plank that we did not talk about round one is low back pain. Never ever in a plank do I want your low back hurting. It's okay to feel the muscles that run down the sides of our back and our glutes and our abs, all of that we wanna feel, but we don't wanna feel a cringe in the low back. So if that starts to happen to you, do a couple things. Check that your abs are in tight, check that your pelvis is tucked under, and if you're still feeling that low back, bend your knees to the ground, but keep that plank position. So all we've done is drop our knees. My body is still stretched out really long, not butt in the air. So modify where you need to. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, back to your feet. Reverse lunge with rotation. Here we go. Nice big lunge. Rotate away from the back leg. Rotate. Good, by adding the rotation, we're doing a couple of things here. Number one, we're throwing off that balance just a little bit by changing our plane of movement. We're not just moving front to back. We're also moving side to side. The other thing is that it's forcing us to stay down in that lunge for longer than we normally would. So we're getting a little extra in that nice big bent knee position. Three, two, one, to the ground. Nice job, everybody. We're down for that hamstring bridge onto the back, feet are on, remember, uh, step number one is to squeeze the glutes and tuck the pelvis, here we go, squeeze, release and tap, squeeze, and remember when I say release and tap, all we're doing is dropping the hips back down, we're not releasing the glute squeeze, so try really hard to keep them squeezing, the more you can work those glutes, the less you are working your hamstrings, which in this case is a good thing. Trying to get those glutes to override the hamstrings. Almost there, three, two, one. Grab that ball for a leg lift. Feet in the air. And here we go. Big reach and pull. Remember, we're looking for as big of a range of motion as you can do. If that means you have to bend your knees more to get a bigger range, please do so. I would much rather see bent knees and a big open through your hips than see straight knees and the ball barely moving. We always wanna work in the biggest range that we can. Almost there, last one coming up. Excellent, flip it over. Final round, we're getting right to it. Keeping those abdominals really feeling our work. This is our main block on that core today. Three, two, one, here we go. Pressing down, let's check all of our cues and check our position. Feet are as wide as they need to be for good stability. Elbows are underneath the shoulders. Hands are trying to press away from the face one that I find very challenging, <laughs> obviously, as I could like tickle my face here. Press that ball away really hard. Abs are in tight, pelvis tucked under, glutes are squeezed. We're at five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Back up, ball in hands. Right into that reverse lunge with rotation. Here we go, lunge. Rotate, 
Great. And up. Nice, guys. All the way through. This is your last round. So we want to make every second of that 30 seconds count. Excellent. All the way to the end. We're looking at about 10 seconds. Come on. Big bend. Strong rotation. And time to the ground. Hip bridge. Feet on top. Abs and strong. Pelvis tucked. Here we go. Squeeze. Tap. Squeeze. If you're looking for more resistance here, a couple of options. Pull those arms away from the side. That's really going to change up the balance of this move. You can also add the in and out rolling of the ball. Either way, keep pushing. And time. Grab that ball between the feet. Leg lifts right into it. Here we go. This is it, guys. Last 30 on this block. And we get to put away our stability ball. Reach. Lift. Reach. Lift. Keep those abs pressed in super tight to the ground. Make that focus on the abdominals doing your work. We're not lifting from the leg. We are lifting from the abs. Last one. All right. Excellent job. Our first little break here. So roll that ball the way from you. Make sure it's not going to attack you. Mine likes to attack me in warm workouts. My garage is obviously not very uh, flat. Grab a sip and we're moving on to our dumbbells. So on our dumbbells, we have five exercises this time. Really, it's just two extra, uh, three exercises, but we got two sides. So we're going to hit 30 seconds on each side. The first exercise is our dumbbell train squat. We're going to come back together to curl and overhead press. So, grab your dumbbells. Trans squat and trans lunge we've been doing the last couple of weeks. So just a reminder, when you step back for any kind of trans or transverse movement, you are stepping back and opening the hips. So we're not stepping directly beyond. If we're on a railroad track, I have stepped from one rail to the other rail. But my hips are open and my feet are both out. From there, we're going to drop to our squat, step back together for a curl and an overhead press. We're going to go all 30 seconds on the left side first. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Into that squat, curl, and press. Now as you go, you can combine this move as much as you want. Usually I force you to separate it. But today, see what you can put together. So squat as you step. Curl as you stand. Then press. Squat. Curl. And press. Squat. Curl. And press. We have time for one more. Excellent. Now our same leg that was stationary, our left leg, or our, yeah, left, right leg actually, for you guys, is going to stay stationary. We're going to take our straight leg deadlift all by itself, not adding any other movement. So standing on my right leg, I'm going to reach and stand it back up tall. 30 seconds. Reach and tall. Ooh, lost my balance. Find that spot out in front of you. Slow and steady. Squeezing from those hamstrings and the glutes to get you back up. Last one. And time. So now we are switching sides. Transverse lunge uh, squat. First, four, three, two, one. So right leg steps back and opens. Squat. Back to center, curl and press. Squat, center, curl and press. Good. You can use that momentum, especially if your chest is up nice and tall. 
on that squat, which is what we want, you can use your momentum to drive the dumbbells up for that curl. And then from there, it's all in those strong shoulders. Last one. Excellent. Standing on your left leg. Straight leg deadlift. Here we go. Big reach. Squeeze from the glutes. Stand up nice and tall. Excellent. You can use those dumbbells to help out that balance a little bit. Reach, squeeze and pull. Almost there. Last one coming up. Excellent. Set down those dumbbells. We're going right into our walkout. No push up. We just have 30 seconds. Walk it out. Here we go. Nice strong plank. Check that plank. Walk it back. Stand and reach. Add that reach every time. Then quick hands out. Strong plank. Quick hands back. Awesome, guys. Pass that plank. Squeeze and lock it. Good. Quick reach. Keeping those knees as straight as you can. This is your last one. And time. Excellent. We are back to the top. Quick breath as you grab those dumbbells. We are going to start with the same side as last time. We're going to keep consistent here. So for you, you will be stepping back on your left leg. Right leg stays stationary. 30 seconds. Train squat. And here we go. Step an open squat. Strong curl and press. Good. Abs are tight. Drive off that back leg. Make that drive from that left leg so strong that the arms float up on that bicep curl. So you're not even using them. Easy peasy from those arms. We got time for one more. Excellent. Still standing on your right leg. Straight leg deadlift. Here we go. Reach. Strong stand. It balances all over the place. Check your triangle at the bottom. Do you have weight in your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel? All three are working together. Good, good. We've got five seconds. Give me one more in there. Excellent. Back to the top. We are switching sides, stepping back with your right leg. Here we go. Open into that squat. Strong. Curl and press. Have a good day. Open into that squat. Big curl. Strong press. Check those abs on the top of that press. Okay. All right, then pull them tight to the spine. Squeeze and lock them in. Almost there. Last one coming up. Excellent. Standing on that left leg. Straight leg deadlift. Here we go. All your cues. Big toe, little toe, heel. When you come to stand, does everything lift up tall? That should be a yes. Good work, good work. Squeeze through the entire leg. Last one coming up. Excellent, walk out time. Right into it, no break right here. Deep breath and go. Strong plank. Drive it back. As you go on these, see if you can make your hands go faster and faster. The steps don't have to be big, but it'll force you to keep your weight as centered as you can instead of rocking from side to side. Almost there. One more. Four, three, two, one. Good news. Final round. Grabbing those dumbbells, take a deep breath or two. You're gonna join me in the middle for one more round. We're gonna step back with that left leg first. Right leg stays still in four, three, two, one. Step it over and drop. 
Drag him up. Big press. Drop. Up and tall. Big press. Excellent. Good, good, good. Make that pace. Whatever you can to finish out. We got 10 seconds. Almost there. And time. Staying on that right leg. Abs and tight. Here we go. Reach. Very good. Think about lifting from the back leg, but without rotating it. So the shoelaces and the heat and the knee face straight down. Almost there, time for one more. Awesome job, everybody. Switching sides. Final time on these two exercises. Three, two, one. Here we go. Open, quick stand. Big press overhead. Open, drive together. Nice, can you sit an inch lower for these last couple? How low can you drop those hips? You've got this, guys. We're looking at 10 seconds. No stopping, no stopping. Come on. One more. Yes. Excellent. Switching legs. Well, not switching legs. Same leg in front. Here we go. Reach. Strong stand. Keeping those shoulder blades tight. Squeeze it all. Nice job. Fight that balance. Use those arms to counterbalance you just a little. Last one coming up. Set those dumbbells to the side. We are right into those walkouts. Here we go. We got a break coming after this, guys. So hang in there. Add a challenge on our last few. Add that push up. Come on, come on. Don't quit. You are almost there. We are looking at less than 15 seconds. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. And time. Nice job. Grab a sip of water. You do not need your mat. So keep everything 
working to stay turned away from that band. All right, we're going to turn it all the way around. This is when you may want that heavier band for. We're going to take one arm over and into our chest press. So we're going to walk it away a little bit. You can either take a strong base stance with your feet equal with each other, or you can take a foot in front. Either way is perfectly fine. Arms are out wide. Elbows or hands are at least in line with the elbows, as in here, not hands to chest. So hands nice and wide as we press. Ready, set, here we go. We're gonna press out, back in. As you get all the way out, don't let your hands come all the way together. They're coming to about shoulder width. So they are coming in just a little bit, but not all the way. You lose your tension at that spot. Very nice. Allow that band to really open the shoulders on the way back. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to turn back around. We're going to take our T woodchuck. This is a combo move. Exercise number one in this move is our big T. So arms, shoulders down, arms stretched out in front. We're going to pull back as hard as you can with that T. When you come back together, right foot steps. The only foot that steps. Left foot doesn't move. Right foot steps. And you're going to rotate that band as far across your body as you can. And then back together. T. Only a left foot step and rotate. Keep it going. T. Rotate. T. Good. The name of the game here is range of motion. The farther you can get on each exercise, the more benefit you're going to get. The more postural muscle support, the more oblique. Last one coming up. Very good. So we're back from the beginning. Facing me, or facing perpendicular to your band attachment. Hands in. Lateral lunge, here we go. Drop it down, press, and back in. This one should feel a little tougher this time for two reasons. Number one, we use a lot of oblique on that wood chop. This is an exercise as you push out, it's the obliques that are taking over. So we're working the same muscle group twice. The other reason is that we're also using our shoulders. And those shoulders are tired from the teeth. Switch sides. So it's a double whammy. Here we go. Lunge, press together. Lunge. Good. No matter how big or small of a bend that you have on your lunging leg, make sure that your butt is sticking out behind you. It means you're sitting back in that heel. One more to go. Press. And turn it all the way around for our chest press. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice and wide. Big open. Walk forward as you need to to increase the resistance. Make sure that you don't have an old holy band, by the way, as you walk forward. If your band is starting to develop some holes, Please order a new one before you snap yourself with it. It's kind of painful. Nice job. Nice and wide on those arms as you bring them back. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn it back around. T to wood chop. Ooh, my shoulders are already feeling it. Here we go. T, step, rotate. Another tip on this one, when you bring your hands together, you can open your fingers and slide it through so you have both hands holding both bands. Or you can leave the hands separated. Completely up to you. Coordination wise, I like to put my hands together, but I will tell you, 
scientifically, putting your hands together makes it a little bit easier because now you're working out of both arms to help. So if you've got a weak spot, then something else is going to take over. So ultimately, better if you can keep them separated. And time, back to the beginning. One more round, facing me, lateral lunge. Three, two, one, here we go. Lunge, press, together. Lunge, press. Good, keep fighting it the whole time. Working those obliques. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze your inner thighs as you come back together. You've got this, guys. We are finishing strong today. Almost there. Switch sides. Right into it, no break. Here we go. Excellent. Pick at least one muscle group to really focus on here. Whether it's the inner thigh squeeze or the oblique fight at the end. Last one coming up. Turn it around for chest press. As soon as you're there, go right into it. Press, release. Nice job. Another tip I like to use on this one is that I completely relax my fingers. It reminds me that I don't need a death grip on this exercise. Relax the forearms. Pressing through the palm of my hand, squeezing through the chest. One more to go. Turn it back around. We're going to finish it up with our T and wood jump. 30 seconds. Here we go, guys. Big T. Step. Rotate. Now that we're on round three, check that only one foot is moving when you step back. It is very, very common for the stationary foot to try to rotate because it really does help on the wood chop. But tell it no. Plant that foot. Don't let it move. Fight it the whole time. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And time. Do me a favor. Drop that band. Don't turn me off yet. Shake those arms out. Drop your chin to your chest. And roll your chin from side to side. If you do nothing else for a cool down and stretch, which doesn't make me happy. So do your cool down and stretch. But if you are like, ah, I have to run right now, I have exactly 60 seconds, then I want you to stretch that upper body. Specifically the shoulders. So alternate pulling those arms across, getting the shoulders themselves stretched out. Give it a little overhead tricep. Open up. Pull it down and across. Give me some arm swings. Open and cross. Nice big circles. All right, guys, when you leave from here, you've got three options. Three options that I like. Option number one is I'm absolutely pooped. I don't want to do anything else. Send me to the cool down. Flip over and hit the cool down. Option number two is, you know, my lower body's feeling pretty good right now. We didn't do quite as so much lower body. Flip over to the second lower body band workout that I sent out uh, last week. I'll probably attach it again this week. Um, and hit that lower body before you cool down. Option number three, you know, my upper body's tired, but I feel like I got a little bit left in it. Switch over to the second upper band or upper body band workout. Hit that, then hit your cool down. Those are my three preferred, obviously, uh, depending on the time you have in the day. If you don't have time right now, or you don't have time the rest of today, please make sure that you are hitting those band workouts, the separate band workouts I'm sitting out, sending out at least once a week on each. They are really, really good for strengthening all those tiny muscle groups that we like to skip over as we add more weight and more range of motion to things. 
So for the health of your hips and low back and inner and outer thighs and knee strength and ankle strength, do that lower body. For the health of your posture, your neck alignment, your shoulder strength, your reach in the back seat strength, do those upper body band workouts, guys. It's really, really good for you. They're only about 10 minutes in length. Fit them in where you can. All right, by the end of this week, you've heard this speech a couple times now, so you know what you need to do. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for joining me, guys. <laughs> Through gloves, I can't seem to turn you off. <laughs>